guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Ailey. Today's video is going to be all about this little bad boy. Not going to lie, I was kind of surprised at how small this is, but it is my first ever purchase from Kylie Cosmetics. It is the Baby It's Cold Outside Lip Collection. Now, these are eight mini lipsticks. Like, I think there's a few different formulas in here. I think there's Velvet, Matte and Metal so I can get a feel for what they're like, what the colours are like, what the formula itself is like and then I could decide whether or not to buy a kind of full size version which I'm not going to and I will explain in a minute. So I'm going to lip swatch these as well so don't forget to stick around for that. Okay, so I paid 42 US dollars for this kit and the postage was 14 95 so it was kind of hefty and it all came to 56 95 Now, when I actually received this in the mail, which was, I ordered on the 23rd of November and this didn't come until yesterday or the day before. So that's the 1st or the 30th. So the postage does take a wee while. I don't know if the California wildfires had an impact on it. It did have on the USPS website that it may affect it. So I don't know if it actually did. But when it arrived, it actually didn't come straight to me. I actually came home to like a little one of those things that you've got to go down and pay taxes and stuff like that on it. So that came to £15.31. So altogether, this ended up costing me £59.90 for that. So first and foremost off the bat do i think that you should order anything from kylie cosmetics if you live in the uk no because it's not worth the money it's so i would say it's kind of overpriced anyway and then when you add in the postage and the customs fees now the customs fee that was seven pound 31 and your royal mail handling fee is eight pounds although I think that the fact that they handle packages because they are the mail would kind of negate that maybe, but obviously not. No, they, to process it through customs, need a handling fee. So, had I known I was going to end up paying that much, I would not have ordered this. I don't think that anybody should be forced to pay that much if they're ordering from something. I just think it's ridiculous. So, if there is a another website or a distributor in the UK and I've just missed it let me know so I can kick myself but until there is one from the UK that I could use I don't think that I would be ordering from Kylie Cosmetics again and that is purely just for that reason just because I think that that's a ridiculous amount of money to be paying for something like that that comes out at £7.48 a lipstick and they're not big so anyway, the packaging on this is really cute. I like the whole collection. I think it's really smart. It's like a really nice kind of powdery blue colour. And this is kind of like glitter that's stuck on here, but not glitter that'll like, well, yeah, it does rub off a little bit. So it says, Baby It's Cold Outside Kylie Jenner Lip Collection. And it's got all the details on the back. And inside it looks like this. So the reason that I got it, like I said, was so I could try out the formula. And I wanted to branch out and try some different lip colours because I'm not... I've never really done that before. I've never really been big on lip colours, so I wanted to do that. So instead of making this video a million years long, I am just going to crack straight on. So these are what they look like. I'm just going to open it up. It opens up from the top and you can pull them all out. So they are teeny tiny, if you can even see that, little tubes like this. It's got her typical, if that's going to focus, it's got her typical drips design on it. But these are so freaking, they're so small. I mean, I did not know that they were this small. Okay, so I zoomed you in so you can get a better idea of what this looks like. I mean, that's how small it is. That's ridiculous. That's, it's not even like a mini. But that's a Jeffree Star, which is the same size, but you can see like 10 times the thickness of it. There's a Kat Von D one, and a Kat Von D, yeah, no, it's quite a lot thicker actually. But you can get the idea of just how little. There is 0 0.03 ounces, 0 0.8 grams in here. That's not an awful lot. So we're just going to go along and we're going to swatch all of these. The one that I have on just now, I've had on 
since I filmed this tutorial and if you haven't seen that I'll link it up here for you it's probably not up yet but I will link it up there as soon as it's available the it's not uncomfortable so it's leaning me towards it being small wonder because that's a velvet and it feels it feels quite comfortable on the lips so I'm gonna swatch no peeking for you I'll do it first on the back of my hand and that's what that looks like I will say these have the sickliest and fakest kind of cupcake smell to them they've it doesn't smell nice it just smells it smells like artificial sweetness it's really really infuriating because I did think that they would smell really nice it's sort of it's really sickly it's really not a nice smell at all okay so these are not easy to take off I'm probably gonna do like the lighter shades first and then go on to the darker shades so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take snowball because this is like the lip topper slip type one it's a metal and it has that same ooh, it has that same sort of smell to it. This one looks really moussey. So that is Snowball. I wouldn't wear this on its own, I wouldn't have said. So that is it next to No Peeking on my hand there. And what I'll do is I will swatch No Peeking next and we'll put this on top to see what it looks like as a topper. Okay, <laughs> this is like a really, really sort of peachy, like, I don't know, I feel like I look a little bit sick. It could just be because I could have done with, you know, covering up the kind of pink staining that that other one left, but for me, I don't think I would wear this one on its own. And it does go on slightly patchy, so I'm just going to add another coat. It does sort of, I don't know, because when I look in the viewfinder it looks okay, but when I look in my mirror it looks a bit weird. So this is no peeking. I don't know. I think maybe I would use it along with another one instead of on its own. So I'm just going to stick Snowball on top of that to see what it looks like. So that is it with Snowball on top. It doesn't really go that metallic. It could be because that's a velvet and not a matte, so it wasn't really dried down or anything like that. But that is it with Snowball on top of it. So next, I think I'll go for Sweater Weather. Oh yeah, it's a completely different consistency. It's like really wet. That is it there. And it's sort of like a, a dusty pink that I would say. Okay, now this one I like. This, I really like this colour. It's definitely a colour that I would wear. So this is Sweater Weather. And it's a matte formula. I really like, I think that this one's probably my favourite, but the smell of these make me feel so sick. I'm just going to give this a wee second to dry down. Okay, never mind. It's dry. These dry down so fast. Or the mat, this mat anyway dries down so fast. It doesn't feel uncomfortable, but I've, I've only been wearing it for, I don't know what, a minute and a half. I wonder what I had on at the beginning of the video, but I'll just do it kind of with everything else while we're doing this. This formula is definitely more moussey. It goes on really easy. It feels really comfortable. This is Small Wonder, and I really do like this one. I think that it's a really nice shade and it's really comfortable. It is dead similar to Sweater Weather, and this is them swatched. But Sweater Weather is just a little bit darker. I actually look like I'm wearing a pink lipstick right now. Okay, so the rest of these are all mattes. This one is Naughty is the new nice and it's a metal. I think it might be easier to remove the others So I'm just gonna do this one first. That's not really metal. Well, it is a little bit. That's it there Right at the bottom 
doesn't really look very metallic. It's got a little bit of a kind of shimmer to it, but not much, so. Okay, excuse my bad application again. So that is Naughty is the New Nice. I'm not into metal lipsticks or metallic lipsticks. I never really liked that trend. This, though, I actually really like. And I've only just started to like red lipsticks. Okay, we have three to go. Oh, my poor lips. This is Under the Tree and it is a bright fuchsia pink. Wow. I think this one's gonna stain me. It's definitely a matte, you can tell by the formula again. There we go. So there it is there. Okay, I'm not gonna worry too much about the application on this one, but this is it here. So this is under the tree. Like I said, it's a matte, it's a fuchsia pink. It actually reminds me a lot of Candy Yum Yum, but it's not as vibrant, it's not as light. It's a little bit on the darker side, so it makes it a little bit more wearable. Okay, so as you can see, that one did stain, so that was under the tree, the really, really vibrant pink one, so just be aware that that one will stain. Next, which is the second last one, we've got December, and this is like a true red at the top this time. Again, don't mind the application. Okay, I really like this red. This is December, and I don't know if I like it as much as red rum, but I like it. Then again, a red lip really is growing on me. I think once I get my lips done again, I'm gonna like them even more, but I really like that. Ooh, another red lipstick for me. Okay, it's kind of redeeming itself now. Kind of redeeming itself. This one is hot cocoa and it looks like a burgundy. I'm gonna put this one above that again. Oh, I. That one's like a kind of plummy burgundy. Ooh, it's like a blood red. Hmm. I was so close to getting unicorn blood as well. Again, don't mind my completely ridiculous application. Oh, completely ridiculous application, but. I low-key love this colour. I've never worn a lip this ready dark before. This is hot cocoa and I can't really describe what the shade is. It is what I would imagine unicorn blood looks like. So if you like unicorn blood you'll like this. It is really quite matte. It's not quite dried down yet but that's because I added two layers probably but I just, I don't see myself in these colours and I kind of like it. So that is every single one of them swatched. There are definitely one or two that I'm not keen on. I really hate the smell. I really wish that the smell was even, it would just be nicer if it wasn't there. Um, I like all of the shades bar the snowball shade and what was it called? No peeking I think it was. The kind of peachy one, I, I wasn't really a fan. I got this in order to try different colours and in order to try a different formula that I've never tried before and I think that I've managed to do that and I think I have a few colours here that I'm going to experiment with and I have a few that I'm going to mix into looks that I do on my 12 looks at Christmas and I've got a few here as well that I know I'm definitely going to wear over Christmas. The one massive disappointment I would say is I'm really really disappointed with the fact that I had to pay so much to get these so that in itself puts me off ordering from Kylie ever again until they get a UK distributor and if you are from the UK I would say save your money don't the the formula isn't so amazing that you couldn't get it in a different make and it wouldn't be as good definitely I would say they're not Right away, straight off the bat, they're not as comfortable as Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks, but the velvet formula is really nice. It's a little bit like the satin formula from Colourpop, and that's another company that it kind of bugs me that I won't order from again because it costs so much to get it here. So I would say if you love, if you've gotten stuff in the past and you absolutely adore the formula or you really, really, really like her and you want to support her, then I would say, you know, go ahead and order. But it just costs way, way too much to get it here. And I mean, £56. 
I'm kind of shocked. And I, I honestly didn't think it was going to cost that much. To me, it was costing me £45. And because I had some money there, I thought I was going to treat myself and that's what it was going to be. But then, obviously, the money ended up adding up and that's how they get you. So, I think that is pretty much it for this video. Do I recommend it? Product wise, yes. If you're in America, I would definitely recommend that you try this out. I really liked it. I think it's a little bit pricey for what it is. It isn't bad. I can't say anything about it. I would say that I would rather get Jeffree Star's minis because I could get them through Beauty Bay. If I could get these through Beauty Bay, I would maybe consider it. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I'm a little bit disappointed and a little bit kind of happy that I got it at the same time so I can have a little bit of an experiment over Christmas and yeah if you have any questions or if I've forgotten to mention something in this video leave it down in the comment section below for me and I'll do my best to help or answer or find out the answer or whatever but if you enjoyed this video obviously I would love it if you've got a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel my lips would really appreciate that after the trauma that they've just been through. <laughs> I do post videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday so hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!